Hello students, the next problem under the topic coordinate geometry is show that the points 4, minus 4, minus 4, 4 and 4 root 3, 4 root 3 are the vertices of an equilateral triangle. So now what is an equilateral triangle? We have to understand that. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the three sides have the same length. So, if we have a triangle ABC, then all the three sides of this triangle will be of equal length for an equilateral triangle. Now, for example, let us choose the point 4, minus 4 as A. So, 4, minus 4. And the point B as minus 4, 4. And the point C as 4 root 3, 4. 4 root 3. This figure is done handy and it is not geometrically plotted. Okay. So now we choose the point A to be this B and C. Now we have to find the distance AB and the distance AC and the distance BC by using the distance formula and then we have to prove that all the three distances are of same length. So let us do that now. So first let us find the distance AB. So the distance AB is given by the distance formula square, I mean now uh, square root of. Now in A we can choose this point as x1 and this as y1 and in B this point as x2 and this as y2. Now by the formula it will be 4 minus of minus 4 which is 4 plus 4. So 4 plus 4 the whole square plus and then here again we have minus 4 plus 4 so I mean a minus 4 minus 4 it will be so because we know that it is y1 minus y2 by the formula so it will be minus 4 minus 4 the whole square the formula and more problems are discussed in our previous videos so you may first look into those videos so that you understand this problem more better Okay, where in those videos we have dealt with isosceles triangle, right angle triangle and also right angled isosceles triangle. And now in this video we are learning about the equilateral triangle. So let me simplify this. So this will be equal to square root of 4 plus 4 is 8. So 8 squared plus negative 4, negative 4. So we have to add both with a negative sign. So negative 8, the whole squared. And so that will be equal to square root of 8 squared is 64 plus now this negative sign when it is when it gets squared it becomes positive and so again 8 squared is 64 and when we add 64 and 64 we get 128 so it's equal to square root of 128 therefore the distance ab is equal to square root of 128 units so this is ab now next similar manner we in a similar manner we have to find ac the distance ac so let us do that now so the distance ac will be equal to square root of now we can choose this point as x1 y1 and this point as x2 y2 so uh, what is the formula it is square root of x1 minus x2 the whole squared so we will be having 4 minus 4 root 3 the whole square so it will be 4 minus 4 square root of 3 the whole squared plus now next we have minus 4 uh, and here we have minus uh, 4 root 3 so it will be y1 minus y2 right so it will be minus 4 minus 4 root 3 the whole squared and so we have to write here minus 4 minus 4 square root of 3 the whole squared now very carefully we have to expand this because this root is an irrational root. So we have to apply a minus b the whole squared formula here. So a minus b the whole squared formula which is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now here I will take this separately and I will show you here. So 4 minus 4 root 3 the whole squared is what we have to find here. And so that will be equal to, now this will be like A and this term will be like B. So this term is A, this term is B. So 
you first you have a squared so it will be 4 square minus 2 multiplied with a what is a a is 4 multiplied with b b is 4 root 3 so 4 square root of 3 and then plus b squared so what is b here 4 root 3 the whole square and this will be equal to 4 square is 16 minus now we can multiply all these numbers so it will be 2 multiplied with 4 which is 8 8 multiplied with 4 which is 32 and so it will become 32 square root of 3 and we have a negative sign here because of this and then uh, we have plus 4 root 3 the whole square so we have to square this separately and this separately and then multiply those two so what is the square of 4 4 4 times is 16 multiplied with this square so square root of 3 multiplied with square root of 3 is root 3 square is what 3 so now 16 has to be multiplied with uh, 3 and that will be 48 and so we have plus 48 and now we shall simplify this further so 48 and the 16 has to be added that is 64 and then minus 32 root 3 so this we have obtained for this term in a similar manner we have to evaluate this term now so let me take this and write here so we have to evaluate minus 4 minus 4 square root of 3 the whole square now both the terms are negative so i can take the negative sign first outside so it will be minus 4 when i take this negative sign out this will become positive inside and this will also become positive so 4 root 3 the whole square now what is the square of negative term it will become positive and so this term turns out to be 4 plus 4 square root of 3 the whole square and now this has to be expanded by using the formula a plus b the whole squared which is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared now at the place of a what do we have 4 and at the place of b we have 4 square root of 3 and so we get this to be equal to so when we substitute uh, 4 in place of a we get this to be 4 square plus 2 multiplied with 4 multiplied with b what is b 4 root 3 so 4 square root of 3 plus b squared what is b 4 root 3 so 4 square root of 3 the whole square and this further simplifying 4 squared is 16 and this has to be multiplied 2 multiplied with 4 is 8 8 multiplied with 4 is 32 so we get 32 square root of uh, 3 okay this thing plus this 2 has to be squared separately and then it has to be multiplied like how we did here so the square of 4 is uh, 16 and the square of square uh, square of square root of 3 is 3 so 16 has to be multiplied with 3 and we get plus 48 so this is what we have obtained we have obtained for this term now these two terms has to be substituted here so let me do that now so therefore ac will be equal to square root of now what is the first term 4 minus 4 root 3 the whole squared that we have obtained as 64 minus 32 square root of 3 so let me substitute that here so it will be 64 minus 32 square root of 3 and what is the second term this one so plus this term that is this has been sim uh, he found here and we can further simplify this that is we have to add this 48 and 16 and we get 4 64 plus 32 square root of 3 so now this term has to be substituted here so plus 64 plus 32 square root of 3 now if you see here so because this is positive and this is negative these two terms gets cancelled and 64 plus 64 is 128 and so this is equal to square root of 128 and hence we have obtained ac to be equal to square root of 128 now in a similar manner we have to obtain bc because we have obtained ab to be square root of 128 okay a b is 128 and a c is also 128 now in a similar manner let us find b c okay so now here i have shown how to find b c so b c is square root of this 
now in this already this term we have evaluated while finding ac right so this one so that is what did we get 64 plus 32 square root of 3 so i have just written that here and this term also already we have evaluated find by while finding ac that is 4 minus 4 root 3 the whole square and we got it to be 64 minus 32 square root of 3 so i have taken and written that also so both i have substituted here and i've got bc to be square root of 128 so we have found ab to be equal to bc is equal to ac which is equal to square root of 128 units so all the three sides are of equal length which implies that the given points okay the given points form an equilateral triangle okay so hope you have understood this problem so this is quite important problem that is to prove that the given three points form an equilateral triangle we have to show that all the three sides that is the length of the three sides are of equal length okay thank you